For any Thomas fan, or even any model train enthusiast, the Bachman top On the back, it has a nice picture showing what's included in the set. No, forget it, we'll just move on. Right out the box, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle are good quality, with die cast and metal parts. Right off the bat, Annie and Clarabelle are flawless with different faces and their names are printed clearly on their sides. Their windows are translucent, but no interior detailing. But that's not really important when these are the most detailed HL models available. Moving on to Thomas, this model is rail rendered. The HO Thomas proportions are more accurate than the GSCO model, but not as detailed. His color is nice, and his face is decent. Bachman generally has its Thomas HO scale models look closest to the original model TV series, and they design their larger GSCO models to emulate the animated series. I think this was a clever choice. The smaller, more extensive line of HO fits with the scope of the props of the classic series, and the larger, more robust G scale fits with the production quality and more cinematic animated series. I'm referring to Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure. With that being said, I think that Bachman does a great job with their Thomas products, and this set is no exception. It runs well, it can go backwards or forwards, and of course, the eyes move from side to side. The only downside is that it does not include straight tracks. However, this set is still enjoyable, and it does offer a perfect rendition of Thomas and his beloved coaches. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. There will be more Thomas content along the way. See you guys next time.